My name is Reza, I'm a second year master student at UDEL and uh, I would like to present and share our findings on uh, tackling the predicting media interesting tasks which started out as a final project that our group chose for one, one of the course that we followed last quarter uh, super uh, taught by uh, Dr. Cynthia So, um, it has been uh, thoroughly explained by Claire in the previous presentation about the background of the task but here I just recap on several key points that is important in uh, building our approach. The first one is the task itself is a given set of images and videos of a movie. Can we order them based on their interestingness level? And the second one, it is also important to note the notion of pairwise comparison evaluation. And the third one, um, for our approach, we use the pre-computer features that has been provided by the organizer. And finally, it's um, in a way, this is a binary classification task, but also a ranking task. So we start out by data, underst by data understanding, because um, we are intrigued by last year's best result, which actually based on heuristic uh, rule, which uh, captures the facial presence of an image or a video. But uh, it turns out it is difficult to infer uh, during this year's data set. We try to find whether dark images, for instance, will generate low interestingness, but what if most of the images in a video, uh, most of the images in a movie is dark, so it's, it's kind of difficult also to, to create such heuristic. And we are also thinking about adding a context to the feature uh, due to the pairwise comparison approach in determining interestingness. In the next slide, I will explain about um, one additional derived feature that we use, which, is, uh, which turns out to be quite helpful in improving uh, the map value. So the general idea is using only the pre-computed features and we add one more direct feature called the mean features and we apply a standard machine learning pipeline and finally we use lab fusion. So what is the mean features? So imagine that we have one feature called local binary pattern which consists of 59 dimensions. So basically the mean features is calculated based on the average of all the images in a particular movie. So in a way, we hope that by adding these mean features, we can inform the classifier that this particular set of images occurs in this kind of um, movie. The first step that we do is um, we did an individual feature evaluation from all of the uh, individual features. and. Prior to applying logistic regression, we do some norm normalization and uh, we did a five-fold cross-validation which were run uh, ten times and we take the average so that the, uh, the performance across different folds will be more fair. And for each individual feature, we find the best model. We are particularly focused on the image of task, but we also submit our run on the video of task, which is um, basically only averaging the feature values across different keyframes. So this is the result that we get in the development set. If you notice here that by adding the mean LBP, we can get a slight increase, a small increase from uh, 1077 until uh, 1145. So it's about 0 0.006 increase. Also, it's not the case for other features, for instance, with histogram of oriented gradients, the result more or less the same. But with GIST, it also improves the, the performance in terms of map value. And after we get the best model from each individual features, we try several combinations of them by adding one by one incrementally. And we ended up um, obtaining this sets of feature which performs um, the best in our uh, development set. So the idea is we create, we train individual model based on the individual features and then from the positive class output probability we train again another classifier. This time because in a way this select fusion strategy will decrease the, the dimension for instance, if we use three individual features, in the end we only have three feature values. We can uh, try many types of uh, classifier, for instance, SVM and logistic regression. So this is the result from our run. So the best configuration uh, consists of uh, logistic regression in the final classifier. 
with a C equal to 100. And we can see here that the development set and the test set, the result is fairly consistent, but it's not the case for the videos of TAS. We can see that there is a very big difference, 0 0.06, and we assume that this is also happening. Actually, if we look into the detail of the cross-validation, the standard deviation of the um, cross-validation result is quite large. Although the average is 0 0.10, but the value is range from 0 0.04 until 0 0.15. So it's not the case for the video subclass. And we also applied one uh, unmodified heuristic feature that performs quite well in a last year result. But for the image subclass, it still performs worse than the machine learning approach. While for the video subclass, it's um, more or less better than, than our um, machine learning approach. So the conclusion, what we have learned by doing uh, research on this uh, task, is that lead fusion strategy improves the performance of individual classifier, while also giving us the possibility of reducing the dimensionality and trying different classifier, because we are actually quite limited by computational resource, so applying SPM in the first place with a lot of uh, features is, uh, takes quite a long time. And the addition of mean features seems promising to give a context to an image in video in which a movie is recorded. And uh, the third conclusion is our approach fails to generalize over the video task because probably we failed to capture the meaningful features that is available there. And yeah, that's uh, my presentation. Thank you.